Welcome to the Town of Deerfield meeting uh, of the Select Board, Board of Health, being held this April 13th, 2022 at approximately 5 p.m. This meeting will be held in a hybrid fashion with the opportunity for both in-person attendance and remote participation in accordance with Governor Baker's June 16th, 2021 Act, extending certain COVID-19 measures adopted during the um, state of emergency, including the extension of the remote participation provisions of his March 20th, 2020 executive order, suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, general law, this is a chapter 30A, section 20. Please note that while an option for remote attendance and or participation is being provided as a courtesy to the public, the meeting hearing will not be suspended or terminated if technical problems interrupt the virtual broadcast, unless otherwise required by law. Members of the public with particular interest in any specific item on the agenda should make plans for an in-person versus virtual attendance accordingly. For purposes of in-person attendance, the town of Deerfield will host a meeting here in the main meeting room at the Deerfield Municipal Offices at a Conway Street. For those participating uh, remotely, the dial-in number is 312-626-6799 or toll-free 833-548-0276. The meeting ID is 911-604-1580. For the Zoom meeting, go to the Town of Deerfield website, click on uh, the meeting for this evening, and follow the link to the Zoom. Now call this meeting to order. Sure. So, um, pursuant to Mass General Law, Chapter 30A, Section 21A3, and subject to the chairman's declaration and a roll call vote, the select board may meet in executive session to discuss stra uh, strategy with respect to collective bargaining with Massachusetts Coalition of Police, IUPA, AFL-CI, AFL-CIO Police, and with UPS-EU Highway, if an open meeting may have a detrimental effect on the bargaining position of the town and pursuant to Mass General Law, Chapter 30A, Section 21A2, subject to the chairman's declaration and a roll call vote, the select board may meet to conduct strategy sessions in preparations for negotiations with non-union personnel or contract negotiations with the town accountant if an open meeting may have a detrimental effect on the negotiating position of the town. Does the chair so declare? I do declare. Okay. Second session. All those in favor? Aye, Trevor McDaniel. Hi, Carolyn Ness. Hi, Dave Wolfram. Um, so my motion would be to invite, um, to include the, uh, to invite um, Kate Federoff, our town attorney, and Casey Warren, our town administrator. And then we will be back in open session to do some business, hopefully around 45 minutes or faster if possible. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we'll get out here as soon as we can. So thank you so much. Thank you. I don't think I didn't know if I needed to include Chief in that too or not. Or see, I don't no, think he's he's not, he's not gonna be here, right? We're good. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Welcome back. <clears throat> we're now in the uh, public session. Uh, we're now entertaining anybody with public comment. Any public want to comment? No. Okay. All right. Okay, we don't have any scheduled hearings, appearances, uh, select board reports. Um, I just want to make sure that people are aware that the 350th is continually meeting every month. And um, we want to have a whole year of party events and mm -hmm. nice, um, cheerful things to look forward to. And, and we have an action packed year. So anyone that's interested in any of the events could go to the 350th website and sign up for committees or show interest in what they what was happening. I also, on that note, I wanted to mention, because you, you had mentioned the um, Waitley's 250th is coming up, and I just think Deerfield needs to be involved, too. Uh, I mean, we always, like, either drive my car or some, we need, like, um, like we did for Sunday in a nice parade, if we could get a truck with a trailer or something that we could decorate again, like we did when we went to Sunderland, that would be really fun, so I'd love you know, anybody out there, I'll post something online too to try and get people to 
come together and help celebrate Wakely's 250th. Yeah, that's on June 26th. Yep. So not too long away. So no. if we could get a plan going for that. That would be awesome. It was really fun, really hot when we did Sunlands, but it was, <laughs> it was, it was fun. But it was fun. Thanks to Savage uh, Farms, they were great. Let's see. But it's really hot, but we do have three breweries in there. That's right, they could keep us cool. Just for a point of interest. Okay. Um, okay, just... Um, those of you who've been watching uh, FCAT, you know that the uh, we've been working with the finance committee trying to get everything back into financial ship shape, and things seem like they're coming together. Mm -hmm. We're actually going to be voting on the, the warrant later this evening, not too much later, but later this evening. So uh, look forward to that. And let's see, Board of Health. Um, there is a slight up tick and plate uh, cases in town. So we're kind of watching it. And um, it, I think it's going to be really great that there's going to be a break next week for school breaks so that people can take time out. Um, there is PCR testing Monday, Wednesday, Friday, right here. It's um, the old senior center, 10 to one. Um, we, our first case of the new variant XE um, came through on on March 28th in town. Um, I'm, we're assuming that that's taking precedence and being dominant since then. Um, it's too early to say how mild or how virulent it is. It seems like it's fairly mild. There hasn't been associated hospitalizations, but people need to be really careful and not let down their guard. Social distancing, masking, um, get your booster, everything you know, as much as we can to be normal and keep the schools open. Thank you. Okay. No? Okay. Good to go. Oh, I just want to say Greenfield, it's really exciting. Greenfield was able to get wastewater um, treatment testing and their sewer treatment effluent um, from the state. So what that means is we'll have a, a very local and so just Oh, there was an uptick in Boston. We're watching what's happening in Boston. We're going to be able to watch it right here in Franklin County. So um, that's pretty exciting. And I think um, it's going to be posted online so people can watch it themselves. Thanks. Sure. Hey, the next thing on our agenda for this evening is the MAHB Public Health Excellence Grant Program. Carolyn? Um, this is an opportunity that came up uh, just about a week and a half ago, actually. Um, it's $300,000 for up to nine years, my understanding, and although this grant application says it's 10 years, but um, it, it will be to for shared services. Um, we think it will probably be inspector um, and, and more nurse hours public health nurse hours, but also what's really exciting to me is we've been trying to figure out how to do community social worker. And it seems like we might have some money for a uh, community health worker, um, social worker position for a few hours a week in here in Deerfield with a shared person. So um, I'll be working with um, Jennifer Hoffman, uh, the director in Greenfield. Greenfield will be the lead entity for this and we'll do the hiring and we'll reach out to the community health center we were originally going to contract with them for someone um in x number hours uh, a week so maybe that can be someone something we can do under the shared service grant um i'm just really excited between the uh nato grant that we received um, that will give us some additional uh, public health nursing hours and some supplies and, and emergency planning money. This, this will give us some more basic health, public health money um, in, the, in staff time. And, you know, that's significant to have backup for s staff. So I would um, highly appreciate it if the board supported um, going forward with this grant. 
I do support that. Yep. You need a motion? Yes. I make a motion to support Deerfield's, um, Town of Deerfield's participation in the Massachusetts Association of Health Board's um, Public Health Excellence Grant Program. I'll second that. Thank you. All those in favor? Aye, Trevor McDaniel. Aye, Carolyn Ness. Aye, Dave Wolfram. Um, Casey, if you could just let Jennifer know tomorrow that we voted in favor of it and you know if she needs some kind of documentation. So you know what I could do? I could just send her a representation to vote. Yeah. Who, I didn't hear who made oh, the motion. Oh, uh, so I made the motion. I seconded. Yeah, Dave, Dave seconded. seconded. All and we voted um, all three of us unanimously. Three zero zero. And that was to participate in favor of the program in favor, and to participate. In favor to yes, participate yes, of the, of the in the public health excellence, excellence grant program that yep. Greenfield is the lead entity on. And I will be meeting with uh, Jennifer to work on this. With and um, participate. right and participate. The towns of Greenfield, or the city of Greenfield, the town of Montague, the town of Deerfield, town of Sunderland, town of Leverett, and the town of Shrewsbury will be participating. Okay, the next thing on our agenda for this evening is the, uh, we've been given a number of job descriptions for review, uh, which we will review. Mm -hmm. uh, these are going to be on the town website, right? The job descriptions aren't on the town website. Um, personnel board reviewed them on Monday night. I was going to ask the board if we can't, if you're not comfortable taking a vote tonight, that's fine. I can put them on next week's agenda. I just was concerned about not having them approved yeah. prior to town meeting because these are job descriptions, particularly the operating and training mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. were recently incorporated into the compensation plan, as I mentioned yes, last night at the finance select board joint meeting. I have one question on the transfer station attendant. Um, you know, is there a lead transfer station attendant? You know, Bud used to call in the pickup on Monday. You know, he would come in on Monday on his day off and call in for a swap and up, you know, when they come and pick up the container and then they, you know, switch stuff around and whatever, the recycling and stuff. I didn't know if anybody, if there was a lead person that kind of takes responsibility for that, or is it something that the assistant town um, assistant DPW head would have to do now, or you know, if we don't have a lead up there now, who's going to kind of take over? That That's a good task? question for me to find out. Yeah, because I know Bud did a lot kind of behind the scenes that not always was um, recognized or seen, you know, because he just did it. Um, and uh, so I just want to make sure that that is there for somebody. The other, while we're just talking about this, this is a side note, we don't have to like discuss this, but I just wanna get it on a yeah. discussion would be moving away from bags and moving to stickers on bags because the bags are really not good for the environment and they're horrible bags. I, I, I was gonna say they're really up, cheesy bags compared apart. to before they used to be much thicker. Middle. Yes, they did. When I first started going to the dump, yeah. they were solid. But now it's like you pick them up and look at them funny. And the, the whole, you try to pull the drawstring and the whole top comes off. And I just feel like we're, we're putting more plastic into the stream that doesn't need to be there. A lot of towns like Foster will have a sticker, you know, that you, you buy a roll of the stickers. Problem, the problem is, um, Trevor, is the standardization of the size. Of the bag. When I, you get the I sticker, get are you getting, you know, you well, can buy the heavy meal. Maybe there's. Compactors bag two or, or you. Three stickers. That are you, you doing if you're going to use a, a large bag, table. you pay this price if you're going to use a small bag. And they're different colors. It's something to think about. I just think I, I know while we're trying to reduce waste and those bags are expensive, we pay a lot of money for them and can save a lot more money to just buy stickers. Um, I just think it's worth, I want to discuss it here, but just put it on something for the future. Yep. Yeah. And I'll do a little research of other communities. I was just going to say, yes. it's, a standard, it's, a, it's a standardization of size. I get that completely. So I know that's our hang up. Who's going to enforce it? Yep. Who's going to be responsible to enforce it? Well, and we then, look, I mean, yeah. you look at Jim, he just, he's there like, what's going in? And, you know, what sticker color is that? What sticker color is that? You know, and I think it might take a little bit of time for people to figure it out, but it, I'm just long-term, 
we're putting less plastics into landfills. And I just wow, think it's a I better thing. I think we're getting ripped off because we pay a lot of money for those bags. That's what I mean. Awful. It's a fortune and you're, and you're just, so then what, what do people do? They double bag and then you're wasting all this money. I mean, you're putting plastic bags inside of plastic bags and you're just like creating more problems. Um, and maybe, you know, there are smaller I, bags for seniors so they have a different color sticker. I don't know, just something to think about. Well, if you have a kitchen size, you know, the right. kitchen size bag, it's just that you can go from the kitchen size bag to the con contractors. Where you can put six or seven ones, of them and in it's there. Like, yeah. right. Wait a second. You know, no, it has to be fair. And that is that is an issue. And I recognize that. But I just yeah. think we no, should no, just no, look I'm at fine it. With it. Just I'm look fine at with it. it. Yeah, I'm fine do. with as long as, as, as long as it's not stressful for other yep. people. Cause I agree. You know, just making sure we have stickers on people's cars is stressful. <laughs> I, I mean, I know. honestly. I know. It is something I just wanted to look at, though. Not that we would change, but just to look at it in case oh, it makes uh, a absolutely. difference. Oh, absolutely. Okay. I'm always open to better, Great. efficient, more stuff. Um, and maybe we can get, you know, or maybe we can get some better, um, you know, compostable vendor. bags or right. something for a couple bucks more. Or something. Yeah, I'm not sure what it, what it is. Because these bags are terrible. They're bad. They're really bad. I know. I, mean, I know they, they. I have to say, it's a mess. It is. It's gross. So, okay, sounds good. Yeah. Probably the compostable bags. Not very many of them are strong. Right, and that might be our issue. That that's what, why they're a compostable bag and they're just falling apart. But no, these aren't. They're just. They're not. No, they're heavy just yeah. the melt. The mil no, exactly. they're so thin. No. They yeah. rip apart so easily. Yeah. We can change the mill, but yeah, um, it well, just increases. It's not a matter of changing yeah. the mill. It's it's a change in the polymers that are used in the bag. They have to oh. use more linear low density instead of low density. He's, flex. he's flexing. Right. Well, yeah. Right. Well, okay, Dave, you can check it <laughs> out. Right. He's flexing. So we'll just ask you to make that phone call. <laughs> <laughs> you right. know what you're talking about. But you just need something that doesn't rip. I did it for 40 years. And the right? other thing to talk bit. about is we talked about this take it or leave it shed, right? Because I keep getting harassed on I know. Because we said we were going to do this and we I think we Got Friday. a shed, but then didn't use it yet. And I know it has to do, when I keep saying, you know, everyone's, oh, everybody will just do it themselves. And I'm like, well, that's mm -hmm. not how it works. People will dump their trash there. And I said, well, I brought stuff to the giving tree. That's a really great, you know, they, it's a good system downtown. If you have something to give away, you could do it there. But um, but it, I think a lot of communities do use it, take it and leave it. And it is a good system, but it is something until we have full staff to figure this thing out. We probably we have to have com I was just going to say have, we need we've to have put it off for years and I'm just trying to figure out we have to have committed to volunteers though because yep. otherwise it's it is terrible mm -hmm. for it's trash a hassle to deal yeah. with so yeah. just wanted to mention that again okay. I keep getting asked all right so do we want to vote on each individual or? well if you want to wait and talk and take them home and read them they haven't changed substantially I'm and in fact them. South County Senior Center Outreach and Program Coordinator there were a couple of changes made by the senior center director to capture mm -hmm. some information. And then during the personnel board meeting, I rearranged two sentences in essential duties, but operator in training and the transfer station attendant. So as you know, we had the transfer station attendant resign. Yep. So we used that as an opportunity to refresh the job description into the new format. Yep. Dude, and that's good. It, it so it follows that new format and you all know if we need to make changes we will certainly make right, changes for sure um the operator in training one is the one that's a creation to give us an opportunity to bring someone into the wastewater treatment plants and train that person to start doing that work and hopefully mm -hmm. provide opportunity for that person to grow into a certified operator yep. i'm i'm not trying to make you make more work but we should have this already um, for the highway department to operator in training, we could work with Bay State Roads, which is the state sponsored program at UMass. And so if you get, if they get somebody that's, you know, like an intern, a student, what happens is they go to the vocational schools and, you know, kind of recruit for this class. And so if we had that kind of program, then we could get some of these kids from the Bay State program, and then they would be like certified operators by the time they come to work for us. We used to have a laborer 
job description, but I haven't seen it in the last several No, this several is operator classes. in training. And mm -hmm. then what happens is with the Bay State Roads, they, they get practices on how how to do, you know, like the pothole clean, you know, stuff. Um, so it, like, how, a, like a pre-equipment right, operator type thing. Yeah, but it, you learn to do like your mini excavator mm -hmm. and, you know, some of your regular yeah. standard equipment, but you like learn to put in a culvert and um it's it's one of right. those programs that came out of believe it or not our program creating resilient communities we copied vermont and we got mass dot to come to our meetings yep. and so the bay state roads program came out of that right and it's you know and it's because you can't get trained dpw people and the idea is that they are in the position so they already have the hours mm -hmm. so they can take their their like their op heavy stuff. operator equipment licensing yep. and yep. all that kind of stuff. Yep. Okay. So there's uh, there probably is an opportunity to do that mm -hmm. because I mean, you could write a job description different. I, I, I was just going to say it. To be in high. It has to be since this is this is not, uh, relatively new. It's only two or three years old program, but there has to be communities um, that have been doing this so that it should have a job. I would guess that Amherst does. So I borrowed a lot of the information in that job description for wastewater operator and training from Amherst's operator and training. And I think they have that program set up for other there's parts a few of their town, There's work. a few towns that are feeders into that Bay State program. Right. I'll bet so you, you could go them. online and probably just cut and paste from their job mm -hmm. description. But I think as long as we were doing this group of job descriptions, if you could just do that one too. That for highway? Sense. Yeah. So Let me talk to Kevin and Chris before okay. I start writing it. But, right. you know, if you have operator in training, in this case, this particular job description is for wastewater. Right. right. Um, so, but having that position for two different places is useful. So let me just chat with them about okay. how to function. It's, it's through that. the Bay State Road Program that's at UMass. Okay. So, that the state pays for. So I'm, it's, okay. it's, make, it's that training program. I'll, I'll make a motion to approve the town uh, assistant town clerk job description. I will second that. All those in favor? Aye, Carolyn. Aye, Trevor McDaniel. Aye, Dave Wolfram. Um, make a motion to approve the program uh, coordinator for the South County Senior Center. I will second that as well. Okay. Any further discussion? Nope. All those in favor? Aye, Carolyn. Aye, Trevor McDaniel. Aye, Dave Wolfram. Make a motion to approve. That was the South County Senior Center uh, okay. program. Yeah, program coordinator. I will make a motion to approve the transfer station attendant. I will Jobs second that. Uh, any further discussion? Nope. All those in favor? I, I Trevor McDaniel. I, Carolyn. I did. I'll make a motion to approve the operator in training for the Public Works Wastewater. I will second that. Any further discussion? Nope. All those in favor? I, Trevor McDaniel. I, Carolyn. I did. Well, Oh, is the outreach coordinator not thinking? The outreach. Yes, no, that we was did the program director. Um, so I didn't program, see. Oh, I must have. Yeah, program have, coordinator. I had outreach coordinator too. I'm oh, sorry. I must have. I was trying to print everything and copy it for you guys right um, before the meeting. Um, it's similar to program. Yeah. Do, or do, I mean, do you want to no, do that it in a few minutes or? That one. You had the. You had the. You had the. All right. Program coordinator. Oh. Yeah, but not the outreach. The, uh, I had both of them done, but oh, I must have okay. forgotten to print okay. the outreach coordinator. So, so okay. no, we have. The, oh, okay, we have the program coordinator, right. and then there's the outreach. There's coordinator. the outreach coordinator. That's oh. a separate one that okay. I didn't get printed before the meeting. I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't yeah. read that. Okay. I'll try to do that. That's fine. Could you just put a note somewhere, Casey, and have either Kevin or Chris investigate? I heard rumors that our Commonwealth and their wisdom is going to start mandating certain training for equipment operators in the municipalities. To see if it's just rumor, if the legislature has just got a rider on there that nobody knows about, and it's going to be an unfunded mandate. Well, what kind of training? Just hours? They'll have to go through the Commonwealth training and learn how to run equipment. It's going to be like 10 grand. Oh my and God. It's going to be mandatory. Oh. All right. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. It's, I know they've been supporting, there was additional money to the Bay State Roads program, but 
I don't know if that's yeah. associated with any more. That that they get up to the point of being able to sit for the test, but it's a lot better than the old days. My father used to just drop off a piece of equipment. I said, "Yeah." He says, "Nobody showed me," and drive away. <laughs> Figure it out. Are you made with a cat nine fifty yes. that was a bucket I mean, that you could put a pickup in. How much damage you could do with that? Oh my God! Damage. <laughs> yeah. I had a lot of fun with it. I mean, that's a different story. So the warrant, I, I, I've been through this warrant uh, probably 65 times. Yes, we times. looked at it quite I'm a bit. Yeah. I'm ready. So, so here's my question before you say I'm done. Yep. Um, I had a conversation. I just want to tell you the two things that changed. So after yesterday, I took some of the questions that we had at the finance committee meeting, the joint meeting with you in finance, mm -hmm. and sent them to Lisa. And so let's look at Article 9 first. That is collective bargaining agreements and to, I think I hit send on the email, to Skip's question, this does, this collective bargaining agreements article essentially passed. ratifies right. any finalized contract and it is legally required. So okay. I mm -hmm. just wanted to make sure mm -hmm. um, that I got that answer from her. Okay. And then article 11, which yep. is the upgrades project, Yep. The language that Brenda identified, in fact, is, is should be removed. So that's what Lisa did. So you'll see this is a little, little bit different mm -hmm. with that section. It was um, probably... What was it about? It was about the pay down of use of the money for pay down. Oh, right, right. Um, mm -hmm. And so Lisa did confirm that Brenda use was right. Use of the principal? Or the, no, those, it was... Uh, those, I mean, the, um, what do they call those things? The... Well, it's for, you get when you do a loan. It's for the the upfront money that you can you end up with a band. Right, you do a band and you get some like you get points or something like that when you and do a regular. And then you could use mortgage. it to pay it down. There was a requirement right. to pay it down a certain way. Oh, okay. So the IGR did change. Okay. Lisa confirmed it, so she removed that clause from okay. the language. Okay. Sounds okay. Lisa, this I, is I, different. I don't. I don't have my copy from last night, oh. so. Yeah, no, you no, can't. No, so I, I can't really. That you can't see the red line. Um, yeah. I talked to her and then, so those are the two things. And there was a numbering issue on the separation. Did you request. find, what it was it something you left off? No, it wasn't anything I left off. It was, it was in the first, there were two different options that we had. We had an option to create three separate positions and we had an option to create two separate positions. So the numbering in the separation article, I think it's article 18. No, not 20. So the numbering in that, in the Little second premium. one, it's actually, there was a typo in the second one because what happened was the section that created the third position was just deleted and the numbering wasn't redone. So I revised the numbering. So it should be sections one through six. Okay. I see, it was the premiums. The, yeah, it was the, the premiums, premiums that were. Yeah. Is okay. That what is the yeah, it paid? said it said that. Um, let's see. With the approval of select board to borrow said sum under Mass General Law Chapter Forty Four or any other enabling authority and issue bonds or notes of the town upon such terms as the treasurer and the select board shall determine, and that any premium received by the town upon the sale of any bonds or notes may be applied to the payment of cost approved by this vote in accordance with blah, 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 thereby reducing the amount authorized to be borrowed to pay such cost by like amount. And so the DLS has changed their interpretation of that. Okay. So she removed that sentence that he just read. So, right. And then the renumbering of that section three on 20 was the separation and then the having two separate so it, position, it, so you just renumbered them. Yeah. So I okay. renumbered them. It should be one through okay. six. Yeah. Okay. I got if that. we had created three separate positions, then you would have had the section of these. Okay. I'm all set. So one thing that Dan asked me though in an email late this afternoon um, is he would like to know who's going to take which article. Yes. So he can start determining his Let's own do script. That. Um, do, do you want to go through that yeah, and do we that? Do, sure. Right. 
Who has a chair? What do you want to do? It's usually eeny, meeny, miny, mo, right? And usually like I start there. with the chair. Do you want me to start yeah, with? Yeah, sure. Start so with the start chair. with David. On yep. Article, it's article one. one. All right. And then I usually go through. Do you want to do the. So here's the thing. If you guys have particular articles you want to do, what I usually do is back into that based on. Just make sure um, Trevor's still in the store. Yep. I'll do that. <laughs> yeah. I'll do that one. We'll give them a crappy job. Yep. <laughs> right. So I can do, um, I could do 10 and 11 if you want, Enterprise Fund and the oh, other, okay. but I don't care. Either way, it so, doesn't really matter. But okay. um, how do you guys feel about that? Yeah. I'm fine. I can do the sewer. I mean, uh, sewer. Scams. Scams. Yeah, scams. scams. Okay. All right. Um, who would like to do Snow and Ice Shark shortfall? I can do that. I can talk about having yep. ice instead of snow. David, do you want to yep. do collective bargaining? Yes. yes. Oh, yes. Make that, David do that one. <laughs> David, would you like to do the um, classic comp plan? No. I could do the question. Yeah. Or it's up to you guys. Whatever you want. Who wants what? Trevor. I'll ha I'll give it to Trevor. Right. What about the authorization? So let me back up. Let's start. Let me go back to the beginning for a second. There was yes. one that I wanted to ask about. So the consent article, would you like to do that, Trevor? Or would you like to the number two? Number two. I can do that. And then I don't want you to have to do too much. No, it's okay. And Carolyn, um, Carolyn the revolving fund. Could you do the article three, the revolving fund? Oh, sure. Um, that's a um, that's just foster to care one. Okay. No. Yeah. So Sorry, the first one is to foster care. The oh, foster limits. care is the... the second one is foster care. And okay. so four would... and five are pretty close to the same thing. And, and so, so four David and five are, the same, are related to the same topic. Yeah. Um, the first one is creating a revolving fund under a separate section, mm -hmm. chapter and section. So do I can do wanna, both. I can do, do both. Those? Yeah, I'll do both of those. All right. So who wants to do the recite the revolving fund, the first revolving fund one, which is the general one? Hold on. Well, I can do I can do yeah, the revolving do. fund. I can do all three how of those. About, three how about we have David do Article Three? Okay. And then you can do the second, the revolving fund and foster care. Me. MOE. Yes. Sorry. Okay. So David's going to do number three. Number three. Mm -hmm. Carolyn will do four and five. Trevor will be, will do six. And then Carolyn, you're going to do the shortfall. Uh, yes. Um, Omnibus budget. Uh, Dan does right. I mean, do we make the motion? You, somebody makes the motion. Oh, so. okay. All right. So wait a minute. So Hold Dave, that thought for a second. Yeah. Um. Dave's doing the collective bargaining. Dave yeah. is doing collective bargaining. So this is what I, this is where it becomes sticky for me when well, I try to the, sort of sort things. And, Dave, the and Trevor project. is going to do ten and eleven. Yeah. Then you know what? I think David should do the omnibus budget because he's yeah, just making the motion. Right, and and generally Dan takes over from there. Do you yeah. want to do that, David? Sure. So that means just David has back to back articles too. Yeah. yeah. I mean. Fine. Yep, and then we do, and then Dan. Yeah. So All I'm right. just going to have back to back for 10 or 11. Right, right. right. And Karen will do, uh, Karen will Karen do 12. Will do 12. Okay. Um, let, me do, doing... um, let me do 14 because we're, we're skipping over 13. 13. No, we are skipping over 13. Well, so we're passing over. Area. Yeah. And yeah, so, so we're skipping 13. Carolyn will do the. I'll do capital. the capital. You'll do capital. Yeah. I'll do 15. Yeah. Do 15. Oh, David. Oh, wait, 15, we're skipping. Oh, we yeah. are. That's right. We're skipping. We're passing over that one. Oh, we are? Yep. Okay. I could do uh, 16 because I'm on my capital. Oh yeah, That's Trevor's right. on Trevor's on capital. Trevor's on capital. And community preservation. Um, um does, would you doesn't um Tim Tim, Tim does, does that. that? Do you want me to so I will assign that to Tim yep. and let him know. Yep. Um because Dan used to do that when he was the chair of Cap of community yeah. preservation. Yeah. Uh, I don't mind doing Se 18. 17 and 18 are quickly both count. Want to have to oh, actually, maybe Tim should do the yeah. 18 because the um, CPA paid for the right. project. Right. Yeah. And and they're waiting for, you know, a mass historical might come out before town meeting, but right. it's highly unlikely, actually. Now. And then David on the proceeds of the sale. So do you want to do Article 19, David? Sure. 
And Trevor, would you like to do yeah, 20? Yeah, I can do 20. I guess I can do 21. You're going to do speed limits? Yeah. Or just speed, speed limits will be, be very popular. Yeah. <laughs> We're skipping by We're skipping 20. I only drive on speed, so that's not a good And good then the one last one is the citizen's petition. I don't I don't feel like any of us should have to do that. Yeah. That should be. No, the citizens no, no, have they to do it. They have, they they have, have to. They yeah. have, and so I yeah. have to get Lori Busada in touch with Dan. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now that That's you've great. gone through it, are you ready to recommend it? Recommend the, um, the yes, yes, the sign. Yes. Um, I will make the motion to um, approve the warrant as uh, assigned. I'll second that motion. Any further discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor? Aye. Trevor McDaniel. Aye. Carolyn Ness. Aye. Dave Wolfer. Um, the only other thing that was unanticipated, um, I have a meeting the, for the final budget of the NATO grant that we got um, for and includes some public health money for this fiscal year. Yeah. Um, so we won't have final approval until we have the April 27th meeting, but um, could after, could we vote to, to post the public health nurse job for the seniors? Actually, um, I think we should, I had talked to Alex about it. He was gonna get me the vacancy. I asked him to draft the vacancy and I showed him where he could find examples. Um, and he's gonna get that to me Friday. So oh, we should perfect. hopefully be able to post next week. That's my perfect. Thought. I, I just, do it. We, we wanna be able to hire someone so that we can expend get some the of the money too. At, to cover the transition. Yeah, yep. you can start um, working with Right. Lisa. We have Mary Ellen um, Sloan hours from the grant that we already have with Greenfield that will make sure that we get all the computer information transferred and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, I really want to make sure we have face to face with the seniors because the seniors just really haven't had much many nurse hours. Mm -hmm. And we want to make sure the homebound people are all organized yep. so that there's no um, gap in, in uh, visits and stuff like that. I was gonna just, I was gonna talk to, I talked to Brenda about getting those shelving units and ordering them. I think I just need to get with her on what account that should come out of. And I just think- Well, we if we get this those. NATO grant uh, um, budget approved, we put down $2,000 for um, some supplies. Yeah. I would, interpret that as shelving and organizing right. our space yeah. over in the church to get ready for the seniors. So, so maybe I'll just order those and get those. Yeah, covered. I mean, cause that money's available. They will send us a check that first week of May. Yeah, that's fine. It, as long that. as the budget is signed off on, on April 27th, yeah. then they'll send us 19,000 the next week. Right. So we have 19,000 to spend at till we I think if, at least June. like four shelving units, we could get most of that stuff right. up on the wall. Because I think some of those needles and stuff, we're going to have to just dispose of because they're old. There's or, some, I was just going to say, there's some shelf life issues. and Not that, that they're bad. They're just not good for like, that's how you're supposed to recycle them in a hospital yeah. setting or something. But well, you can, we're part of the recycle program. So right. we just need to look at the shelf life dates. Right. But we put in for some extra supplies because we're we're running a clinic on May May twentieth for boosters and yeah. whoever wants to come, and then um, August twenty sixth. Right before school. we have two clinics scheduled in sep end of September and October. Tentatively, we don't I don't want to announce it yet because it's still yeah. tentative. But there's at least two clinics in end of September and October for boosters, flu, pneumonia. Mm -hmm. We're going to offer everything, right. shingles, everything. So I'm pretty excited about that. That's a great. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. Great. So we'll get Good. ordered on that stuff, and that yep. way we can. Yep. I wanted to work with Lisa on trying to, you know, separate what's what. She's been already over there working on that too, but just want to have a well, place to store Alex things. Well, Alex took the color training, and we've got about 20 volunteers that are color certified, um, so that we can send out the link. And we can mm -hmm. sign people up and therefore we know if you're like if you want a tetanus shot we'll make sure we get enough tetanus shots maybe right. one or two extra but 
try to sign up for what people want mm -hmm. right. and as well as the Great. regular shot. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty excited about that potential. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, motion to adjourn. I will second that. Any further discussion? Nope. All those in favor? Aye, Trevor McDaniel. Aye, Carolyn Ness. Aye, Dave Wolfe. Thank you for coming. Yeah, enjoy the night. <laughs>